They'll set up a throw. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. They'll look to throw here. And this throw will be intercepted. How about this? And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw. It's knocked away and incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Short pass to Howard. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. First down, Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Forced out to his left. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. But defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force another incompletion. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. It's a gain of... Falcons pick up the first. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. McClellan, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Balluting the pressure right. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball, receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. is third and goal. Back to throw again. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover. Now the offense back out onto the field as
as he'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. They start on the ground with Robinson here. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they're bringing down shy of the 20. And they're going to speed things up here. Second and nine now. He finds his man complete. It's out eight. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll drop the throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver oh, moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. On first down, McClellan. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. And the ball is knocked out. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Second and 11. Short pass to Howard. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that's going to lead to a third down. And now they're in the hurry up. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Ali. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Throw right side caught by O.J. Howard. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. From the nine, second and five. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five. Back to throw. Able to shake him off. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble. And now it's third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And this pass broken up. The contact well down there, and now fourth down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is out of bounds here. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. He'll look to throw. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Jarnell Mooney. His 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Falcons have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Falcons! Drake London with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons are back within a score. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. And I know you are, too. We got a ball game again. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, they need a touchdown. And here they're saying, we're not going to get it 10 yards at a time. They thought they needed to take a shot there to at least get him across the 50. But that one falls incomplete. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. And now off to the races, down the right side. And did he get in? No. They'll mark him out at the one-yard line. Oh, man, disappointment that he couldn't finish that off in the end zone. What an effort there, doing all he can to get to the pylon, and he's going to wind up out of bounds just short. But a huge play there, going to set him up a first and goal for very short. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons Ready, offense at the line. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And part of you and I both know the same calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. And we've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. Fair catch called for and taken. So the ball brought up to the 25 to begin this overtime session. Falcons offense making their way onto the field. Let's take a look at the playoff picture. Cup. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 61 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. And he's going to use his legs here. There he goes, right side. And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stun silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. As the fans exit back out through the turnstiles, not happy looks on their faces. Feel like they probably let this one slip away at home in overtime. I would agree with that. And, and their unhappiness hurts the guys at concession stands on the way out, right? <laughs> not stopping to buy something for the kids. They just want to get home. But what a dramatic way to finish this bad boy off. I mean, this game was dramatic all the way through. That's why we got to overtime. And then to go ahead and finish it this way, the fans screaming out unhappy. But the team that came in here and won this one on the road, they sprinted to their locker room. And speaking of buying things, dinner on you tonight, Davis. I kind of figured that was coming. 
so for Atlanta, they move ever closer to the perfect regular season as they run things to 14-0. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, their playoff hopes take a hit as they drop to 7-7. And, seven, and they'll get a chance